Folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Hulk movie series Super Posable Leaping Hulk Action Figure Set by Toy Biz. This set was first released in 2003 along with the uh, first Hulk movie. I do remember purchasing uh, this set at a Target, but uh, I don't remember how much I paid for it. Uh, I'm thinking I paid uh, maybe seven or eight dollars uh, for the set. Uh, I do remember uh, going through all the uh, different uh, Hulk figure sets, uh, not uh, looking specifically for a uh, superposable Hulk, uh, but more of a uh, consistently green Hulk, uh, because a lot of the Hulk uh, figure sets uh, at the time uh, of this release, uh, they were inconsistent uh, with the colors of the uh, figures and uh, this one seemed to be the most consistently green even though in the video you could see that the arms are a little bit lighter than the uh, rest of the figure uh, but if you actually see the figure in person uh, it's pretty much a, a consistent shade of green taking a uh, look at the package here you can see uh, the Hulk uh, here uh, grimacing in anger there and uh, you can see an accessory here uh, which allows you to perform the leaping action of the figure and uh, you can see the side of the this package here is a nice design here it looks like uh, the Hulk is in some sort of uh, containment unit there <laughs> with this uh, design here it's actually uh, quite nice taking a look here at the uh, back of the package you can see a description here, uh, a really uh, basic description of the Hulk uh, from the movie. And there's a picture of a superposable leaping Hulk there. And also uh, uh, a, the feature of the leaping Hulk, how to use uh, the leaping action there. And also uh, other figures uh, from uh, this uh, movie line. You have the Punching Hulk and a Smash and Crush Hulk. Let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out of the package and we'll be right back. Okay, we have the Leaping Hulk out of the package and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the accessory first and uh, this accessory uh, serves two functions uh, first as a I guess sort of a display type piece uh, I can see it looks like a part of an engine uh, from an airplane there I guess you could put that like that and there you can see the turbines here it's uh, actually kind of neat and some of the details you can see some of the weathering details like a wire there some scratches on there it's kind of neat some exposed metal as well uh, this also serves as the uh, mechanism for the leaping action of the Hulk figure uh, you can see a piece of string here uh, that was actually tied to the figure but uh, I don't like uh, this gimmick uh, especially if it impedes the uh, figure and it does uh, if you leave it tied to the back of the figure so I went ahead and removed the tie uh, but basically how this works is uh, that there's a wind-up uh, mechanism or spring um, mechanism that uh, if you pull on it and let go it'll actually uh, spool back uh, through the uh, spring mechanism on there and uh, based off the weight of the figure itself you can, it basically can bounce the uh, figure up and down like a, a bungee cord on there sort of and uh, you can also hold down uh, this button here and that will prevent uh, the spring from uh, winding the uh, cord up and down if you wanted to uh, lift the figure at uh, great heights uh, as he leaps into the air uh, like in the movies on there but uh, this is the <laughs> uh, I guess the leaping mechanism uh, for the Hulk figure on there Taking a look 
at the figure itself. It's actually uh, quite detailed uh, on here. And uh, you can see uh, all the texture here, the muscle definition of this Hulk. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, the, the color of this Hulk uh, through the video is not uh, what you actually see uh, visually uh, in person, at least to my eyes. And uh, in the video, this is showing up as a very light green, and this is a medium green, when uh, it's really a darker green throughout the figure. And I think it's just uh, my color settings of my camera that's throwing the, the green off on here. Uh, but uh, just taking a look at uh, some of the details, you can see the head sculpt uh, of this Hulk. It's actually uh, quite nice and detailed. It's very nice. And as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the muscle definition. And uh, you can see some of the texturing of the pants on there. It's actually kind of cool on there. More, uh, you can even see details on the feet there. Um, not uh, painted toenails though, but uh, the sculpting details is actually quite nice on this figure. And uh, you can see here uh, this uh, figure uh, sports that very early uh, Marvel Legends uh, shoulder uh, swing uh, to allow you to move uh, the arms into a forward position. Uh, I'm not a fan of this uh, articulation uh, because it really exposes uh, cavities into the back of the Hulk here and it just looks really unsightly and uh, it's nicer uh, from the front obviously uh, because you can swing uh, the arms forward and back but it's just uh, I really don't like uh, this type of articulation because of these gaping holes on there and uh, going over the uh, articulation of this figure, you'll, you'll notice that this particular Hulk has basically no neck on here. But uh, the head is on a uh, swivel hinge joint, so he can actually look up uh, quite a ways and uh, look down. And also his head does go all the way around. Uh, the arms do go all the way around and of course they swing uh, forward and backward and they do go out about that high and back in. Uh, the arms uh, rotate all the way around at the uh, upper part of the bicep and uh, there's a single joint at the elbow and uh, this uh, hand uh, swivels all the way around uh, just above the wrist and also has a uh, hinge joint uh, to allow you to move the fist uh, up and down. Uh, this particular hand uh, has a swivel at the wrist and uh, has finger articulation to grab objects on there. And uh, the torso is, does go all the way around. It does go side to side and uh, forward and back, which is kind of neat. Uh, no waist articulation. And uh, here is uh, where it's kind of a miss. Even though this uh, figure is uh, advertised as super uh, articulated, but when it comes to the legs, it's uh, not so great. Uh, uh, the leg uh, is joined at the uh, torso, at the hip here, uh, which is uh, very much like uh, the DC Universe classic uh, joint. Uh, so it basically goes up, down, to the back, and out to the side there. Uh, but there is no uh, swivel uh, cut anywhere on this leg, so you cannot uh, turn this leg uh, to the side. Or rotate this uh, leg to the side at all on there uh, there's no like I said no thigh articulation uh, single joint at the knee uh, no uh, articulation of the calf and uh, the feet are on a hinge joint uh, but because of the uh, the foot here is so high and also so high at the back uh, virtually no uh, way to put the left uh, foot down. This one's a little bit more but not that much. Uh, 
if they had flattened that out or flattened this out, uh, it would have been a lot uh, larger range of motion at the feet. Uh, the feet do have ankle pivot though on there, but uh, you cannot rotate it because there's no swivel at the on the entire leg. So overall, it's a it's a fairly nice figure for its time. Uh, it is it does have a lot of articulation uh, except for at the lower part of the figure here. Uh, it's just very basic articulation, and it's a. Uh, I really do like this sculpt, especially the head. It's very nice. Uh, but overall, it's a, a very nice figure. And but uh, there are some misses a along the way. Uh, but th uh, this is my casual peek into the Hulk movie series, uh, superposable leaping Hulk action figure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>